So with athletic development, uh, the body is very consistent in how it improves. Obviously each individual will, will defer um, due to their genetics. Um, some are faster than others, some are more aerobically um, talented. Um, so there's, there's different genetic traits, um, but ultimately the body will improve by putting a stimulus on it. So physical stress, which is training. From there, your lifestyle will dictate um, whether you maximize the adaptation from that training session or whether you um, break down and, and lead towards illness or injury or potentially performance plateau. So that's why the lifestyle is so important. That's when your body uh, actually improves and adapts. Moving over to lifestyle. We believe the physical side for footballers is easier. So we're talking about training um, and playing the game compared to the lifestyle. And that's for these reasons. So the physical side is more often than not seen by coaches and staff, as well as your teammates, um, where lifestyle is done usually at home um, by yourself. The physical side, particularly on game day, is celebrated. So when you kick a goal or uh, lay an amazing tackle um, or your team wins, you'll celebrate it and really enjoy that moment where the lifestyle side of things, having a good night's sleep and eating more vegetables, um, you may not be, you may more than likely probably won't fist pump the air um, like you just kicked a goal when, when eating and, and living a healthy lifestyle. So um, we don't get the positive reinforcement that we do compared to the physical side. And like I mentioned, it's, it's shared with our teammates. So it's a lot more enjoyable. Um, we get to ex share the experience where living a healthy lifestyle is, is done usually by yourself. In terms of nutrition, so fueling your body to, to repair and grow, we want to think of and, and reflect on three big areas and they are drinking plenty of water. Uh, body's mainly made up of water. So making sure that you're well hydrated limit the processed foods like takeaway um, package type foods like cereal uh, and anything that's been that hasn't come from the ground like fruits and vegetables or um, come off a tree or come from an animal product so uh, making sure that you're eating real food and the more color the better from you, from your real food so plenty of fruit and veg uh, is really important these are the five key um, food groups that we want to see um, you consuming on a daily basis, um, ideally in, the, in your main meals, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Grains will give you plenty of energy uh, and carbohydrates. Um, they will fuel your, particularly complex carbohydrates, will fuel your energy stores so you have the energy you need to train hard. Moving over to stress, so we have physical stress, um, which is our training. Uh, we tend to pay more respect to the physical side of stress compared to life and emotional stress. So things like when you're sore, your muscle groups are sore, or you're feeling fatigued from a big training session, um, we'll tend to change our behavior um, more often than not. Then, whereas when we're um, going through an emotional time, um, maybe someone's passed, a close friend or family has, has passed away, uh, you've lost your job, whatever the, um, maybe you failed an exam at school, whatever the, really important mental and emotional stress to you has occurred. We tend to try and suppress um, those uh, feelings um, and not aware of the, the, the destructive effect it can have on your body um, compared to the physical side. Uh, 